Yo, hello everyone in the Femboy People Army. It's Kirakaya back here again in my office. As you can see, um, yeah, we got, this is uh, the day two of me working on stuff. I don't know why I said that. It, may, it makes no difference in the grand scheme of things. I don't know. But today, well, you are back in Kira's workshop. Okay, this is like some fantastic stuff. Today, uh, well, right now, I'm currently waiting on my printer to finish uh, up printing the front piece of uh, my Power Rangers helmet. As you can see here, it's almost done at this point. Um, the Power Rangers helmet video might be up before this one. But yeah, that's currently where I'm at right now. So while I'm waiting for that to print, I might as well start the second project I'm working on here right now. And that will be Spectacular, Spectacular Spider-Man. Oh brother, this guy stinks! This shell was made by the fantastical, the workaholic, Adderall-driven, sensational Spidey on Instagram. Go follow Zach, he makes cool stuff. I 3D printed this entire face shell myself on my under free. Uh, I did it all in one piece, as well as these lenses. Uh, I prefer resin printing lenses, but hey, I don't have a resin printer. I never will. I don't want to pass out one day uh, just like taking a crap in my bathroom while my resin printer is just doing its thing. And I just like pass out. I'm like, next thing I know, there's a pile of poop right about, right under me. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. But yeah, it's all printed here. It's ready to get sanded. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be sanding this whole freaking thing. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be sanding this and the lenses. Now for the face shell itself, I'm going to be using my uh, Craftsman uh, palm sander that I got. I got this for like 35 bucks at Lowe's on sale. So that's pretty nice. Some medium grit. I'm probably going to... I might go over it again with uh, fine grit, but I might not because I got some flex seal here. So that's just gonna act kind of like a filler and a rubberized coating to try and help with uh, the mass lying around. So yeah, that, that's what we're looking at here. And then I'm gonna have, and then I'm gonna have to hand sand both of these lenses, which is gonna be absolute pain. But I should only have to do like minimal sanding because um, because I printed these on a super fine quality. Well, the back doesn't look very fine, but I can just sand the crap out of that. That's not an issue. Yeah, I'm just going to use some filler primer, paint that, and then, yeah, that's going to be all cool. And then, of course, magnets. Dolly. Who? You can't attach lenses without magnets. I want you to glue the whole thing, then, then you're just... You need help. Yeah, that's everything we're going to be doing here in the workshop today. I need an actual workshop. I, I, got, I got a freaking attic, like, right here. Um, there's nothing up there except for, like, empty boxes. So what I'm thinking about doing eventually down the road is renovating the attic into like some sort of work area. Just like make that my own workshop up there maybe. But yeah, with all that being said, um, let's get to it. Ahem. Hello, Akami here. Why aren't you subscribed yet? You should like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and get updated on all of the latest videos. And comment down below what you like about the video and what you'd like to see next. Go on, don't disappoint me children. I got it pretty much well down sanded. Uh, this is good enough. It'll work for my purposes. Probably just got like a couple odds and ends here to clean up, but nothing. That won't take like two seconds to clean up. What I'm going to be doing after clean that up just like a little bit, I'm going to be spraying that flex seal on there. Uh, I'm just going to do it in my room here because flex seal didn't really bother me. It's not like thinking about it. I might just do it outside. That would be the better idea, wouldn't it? Um, sanding inside is already a bad enough idea. Don't, don't try this at home. Um, if you got an extension cord, go outside and do it. Just touch some grass, unlike me. Well, I'm going to do that in a little bit, but yeah, I'm just going to spray it down with Flex Seal and then, uh, I'll move on to, uh, doing the lenses. Oh yeah. Magnets. How can I forget? Magnets. 
Duh. Hey there, Editor Kira here. I just want to stop this video before I get into the magnets to tell you about this channel's sponsor, Gamersups. Gamersups is one of the best energy formulas out there. It has zero sugars, zero calories, it's keto friendly, and it has caffeine free options. I use Gamersups in my daily life. I pretty much use it as a coffee replacement at this point. Right now I'm on uh, Jay Schlatt's Titty Milk here. Uh, yeah, it's a great uh, take on uh, Blue Raspberry. It looks like milk let's just say that i love it i've been having it pretty much uh most of every day probably like five times a week fantastic gives me plenty of energy and it's got plenty of vitamins that i just keep missing out on and right now gamer subs just released a new flavor it's called blowhole blast by shy willy god i had to say that slow before it sounded dirty so if you want to try out that new flavor just get whatever flavor or maybe even a waifu cup Make sure you use code Kirakaya for 10% off at checkout at gamersubs.gg. Use the link down below in order to get right there. All right, now back to the pain of making a face shell. All right, I got all the magnets in the face shell here uh, glued down. Uh, yeah, working with glue is pain. I keep gluing my fingers together. The pain doesn't end. Now I'm just gonna slap the flex seal on it. It's dark out, it's cold. I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm spraying the flex seal on here. Uh, again, don't do this at home. I'm just stupid. So yeah, let's be stupid. <laughs> Okay, we got the face shell down here drying. Uh, as you can see here with my arm twisting and to and uh, cor uh, yeah, I'm gonna just stop trying to say it right there. I already ruined the joke. But yeah, while well, I have that drying, um, it's currently nighttime. Uh, again, I'm a very slow worker. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just gonna prep the lenses while that is drying right now. So yeah, let's do that. We got it all done, sorry for the mess, not sorry actually, I'm just very depressed. Uh, yeah, I got it right here, it's all done. Uh, this should have taken me a day. Instead it took me like two weeks. Huh. That's because I can't, it's a very funny story actually, so I was using some black acrylic for some reason, instead of like actual like paint for uh, the lenses. I, Again, I'm a complete idiot. I know nothing about painting. Um, but I learned a lot through this experience. Um, I used that because I, it was glossy and it was durable. So I thought, eh, might as well try that. And then I decided, you know what would be a smart idea? To throw gloss on top of that. And it made this like very odd, weird, like texture thing going on. It, it was very weird. Um, I mean, it'd be a cool thing to do on literally anything else but not this so i had to resand everything start back from scratch refill reprimed it and uh i got some tips 
and the uh, tricks and uh, very pog chip stuff. I actually switched the Krylon flat black, which I really like that. Like you can see on this thing, like how well that turned out. Like it looks really nice. Like just look at that. So yeah, I used a Krylon flat black and I decided to keep the gloss away from it. I'm not glossing them because in the show, they're not glossy. And also the flat just kind of looks cool. Um, yeah, but for the mesh here, I actually used some uh, Rust-Oleum white sand for this because it has like an off-white look to it. And in the show, it has like more of an off-white, uh, off-white look feel type thing to it. it. Doesn't look exactly white a lot of times in the show, so that's why I went for it. And it looks really nice. But yeah, like any other face shell here. Um, uh, let me see if I can set this camera up somehow. Hey, you can see with the face shell here, it's like any other face shell magnets holding it in got these very very small magnets on the tips here it's not really going to hold that well on that end i'm going to be mostly relying on the back end of the lens to hold it in they just kind of magnetize in like that like any other old face shell and i think zach did a fantastic job with that design absolutely love it looks pretty nice and uh close to the shell ish um it, it's a cartoon of course it's not going to be perfect but it's really dang close to that. Like even like the face shape and profile here, just look at that. It's like, not like there's no nose bump or anything. It's just kind of like a curve. It's very cool. I like that a lot. Um, I got the pattern by uh, the longest cosplay. So that's coming by print costumes. I have print costumes doing it. And thankfully they're doing it for free because you guys have been using my discount code from print costumes. So that's amazing. Go use it so I can get more free suits like this so I can give you content. It's a fantastic. I love this. I'm not I'm not spending more money because I'm already broke because of uh, the Spider Lab suit that I dropped two grand on. Uh, I'm no regrets. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the face shell. I can't wait to show you guys the entire thing when the suit comes. And yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little workshop type video going on. I uh, want to do more of these. Uh, hopefully you can see my process of me learning and getting better at this over time. At least I hope I get better. I'm trying. I don't know anymore. Please unblock me, Cal. But anyway, all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you guys check out my Discord and other socials down below. And I hope you guys uh, check out my uh, Ko-Fi if you want to help financially support the channel. And yeah, so with all that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Join the Fedboy Army down below. And until next time, where I decide to create a face shell to encase myself in the grave to look like Spider-Man for the rest of eternity. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Goodbye. Yeah.